What's good, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up, man? What's up, guys? What's up, gals? Uh, I got a big one for y'all today, man. Real big one. I'm just going to keep it to my own. Uh, I'm going to keep it to me because I, I realized something about how I've been doing my videos. They can stun on me when I use other people's content, you know, and I only use other other people's content to prove a point. You know, I'm not trying to piggyback off nobody or um, or or do any, yeah, steal or plagiarize or nothing like that because I'm original with my shit. Let me just get to it, though. I feel like the biggest problem that we have as black people in America is these, is not our opposition, the racist people. I feel like our biggest problem is these coon sellouts. These coon sellouts. And um, that's a term that's been, uh, the, the term coon is a term that was derogatorily given to black people from white people. And I don't mean to even use that term because I don't want to keep the cycle of racism going. You know what I mean? But the only thing that described these low down, uh, non, you know, non participating blacks is the fact that, I mean, the only thing you could probably call them is a raccoon. You know what I'm saying? It, it's sad, man. It's, uh, it's just sad <coughs> to see how, the system has broken us down, you know, and um, I can say that I'm thankful and thankful to God that I was born in the truth. You know what I mean? Hold on, don't, don't put that light on me. I was thankful that I was born in the truth. You know, thank God that my father raised me into the truth. You know, um, it's just my job. It's just our job as a, uh, this generation to take it to the next level, whatever you, you know, your whatever you was taught. And the majority of y'all was taught how to be slaves and coons. And um, the number one, no, stop, stop, please. The one, the number one uh, way you know you've been slaved out and cooned out. For one, you can't make a thought for yourself. You cannot create your own thought. And I mean that by, I mean that by saying, I, I say that by meaning that uh, when I mean that I say. It's like a person who only can speak or mimic what was given to them uh, via news, media, music, things like that. That's a pure slave. If you were just um, can't go through life and have a thought about it or understanding about it on your own or just a mindset to see what's really going on, on your own to, to just even step back and, and see the world from your own eyes. Then you're gonna be a slave, man. I'm gonna tell you, um, school institutionalizes you. It, it starts from the beginning of your life all the way till you're an old dead man. When you're in school, you're only getting programmed: red, blue, green, white, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Brainwash me. You're only being brainwashed and programmed in school the whole time. I'm going to tell you, the, the number one way that you know that they're brainwashing your child is they're teaching them through rhythm and rhyme. And I know that's an easy way for, for a cognitive mind of a child to learn is through rhythm and rhyme. But if you really know psychology and, and things like that, it's, it's simple uh, hypnosis and shit too. You know what I'm saying? And then nowadays, man... And when I was in school, it was a little bit more real. Like, school was a little bit more school. Nowadays, they just pushing them kids through, passing them through, not teaching them shit. You could, and you could just talk to a high school student or even a college student. Talk to a college student and ask him about current events or ask him about some things that's going on in the world. He probably couldn't tell you shit. You know what I mean? And um, just the other day, man, I was talking to somebody who's near, very near and dear to me, to my heart, um, and we were just having a casual text conversation about uh, politics in the world and everything, and it's just um, sad to say that, like I was saying, majority of our people, even in this time of awakeness, <coughs> even in this great awakening that's going on right now, we still have majority of our people who are just lost, man, like lost. 
to just a functioning society is definitely a part of selling out. It's like it's unbelievable if you just go through the society and you and you just live it and don't question it. It's all bullshit. Cause I'm gonna tell you, let me just prove something to y'all. Cause I know I'd be going here and there, but I gotta prove what I'm saying because a lot of y'all and still non-believers and a lot of y'all still aren't up to spiritual speed. You know what I'm saying? So let me let me put y'all on game. The way you know colleges, the way you know school and colleges, more particular colleges, have led you astray and have lied to us. Majority of colleges in uh and high professors and high uh, high class learning or higher learning is based on theories. Majority of majority, the majority of uh, education is based on theories. <clears throat> and uh, what is a theory? A theory is something that is believed to be, something that is not proven but is believed to be. I, I could come up on here all day and kick conspiracy theories to y'all all day. And... And it would have no validity. And, you know, I could probably still gain an audience or something by doing some fake sellout shit. But I'm never going to do that. You know what I mean? Um, but like I said, everything's based on theories. Scientists, um, even your top scientists and top doctors, they make theories on shit. They find something going on in the world or a problem with medicine or a problem with anything. And they say, the th my theory on it is this. My belief is this. My belief. We're based on beliefs. We're a system that's not based on facts. We're a system that's based on beliefs and somebody's word. You know, and that's just, it's just insanity because it is what it is. No matter what you think, no matter what I think, it is what it is. So once you find the truth, then there's no more debating and no more bullshit talking. You know what I'm saying? So the biggest problem with our people today is sellouts. Um, you got all these high high class rappers. Well, not high class in my eyes, but high class in the world's eye. Uh, high class rappers who are just like anybody else, but just have a, a different understanding on the world, or you know, a different perspective, so or edgy perspective, or something like that, so they can be put out in the forefront. <coughs> it's just crazy to watch. It's just crazy to watch us being led into this booby trap that we're in right now. And like I said, majority of you sellouts are not going to question anything. Majority of you sellouts are ready for the vaccine. <coughs> majority of you sellouts been getting flu shots for years. Majority of you sellouts have vaccinated your children. Majority of you sellouts don't question anything. I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to ask you one question, sellouts. What am I wake people? What is in the vaccine? Can you tell me is what was in any of the vaccines that you took besides the virus that you're trying to avoid getting? What's in any vaccine you ever took besides the virus that they're trying to avoid you from getting or the sickness or illness that they're trying to avoid you from getting? That's always in the vaccine. So for one, if you a dumbass knows you're taking a, a illness, putting an illness in your body, it's over for you anyway, man. So, like I was saying, man, the biggest problem for black people and uh, awakened people is the sellouts in societies, man. You know, and, it, and this could go for any race. You, white people have sellouts. Everybody got sellouts in their race. It, it is no limits to this shit. But, man, it's just it's unbelievable, man. That's why a lot of y'all fuck with my content. And that's why a lot of y'all would never fuck with my content because this system that was put in place to make us not believe each other, not listen to each other, turn our backs on each other and question each other. All the while, blindly and dumbly uh, accepting anything that the white man or the man in position or power has given you. It's insanity, man. Wake the fuck up and smell the coffee, man. Wake up and smell the coffee because it's over, man. It's your big homie, big baby, man. It's almost over for y'all sellouts, man. It's your motherfucking boy, Big Betty, man. Holla at me.